Hello all, I am Harshad, founder and CEO of Hacker Associate. In this video, I am going to show you how to use SSH in a proper manner. Let's jump into the practical part. So you can see this slide, okay? Before starting up with any command data stuff, I'll explain you what is SSH. So SSH stands for Secure Shell, port number is 22. And generally people think SSH we are using for remote logging, it is a true. But we can do many stuff okay using a SSH and generally most of the people are calling SSH have a hidden secrets. So you can do a remote login, you can do a local port forwarding, you can do a dynamic port forwarding, you can do a remote port forwarding, you can secure copy like any any video file you can send from one system to other system using a SCP command. And also you can use okay like public and private key pair okay for authentication purpose like asymmetric key encryption. So you can generate a public and private key, send a public key and you can use a private key for login. The best example to understand public and private key is like AWS. So where okay you are creating a EC2 instances, you are downloading okay like the particular key called the private and then okay you are going to log in using your private key right and public key is all part okay handled by AWS. So I'm not right now, okay, I, I'm going to teach you about AWS other system. I'm just showing you how we can use SSH. So in the enterprise level, okay, as you can see, there are several servers that okay, are running like S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, up to the 80 systems are up and running in the particular cases enterprise. So you want to manage, okay, this particular system or we can say server. So how you can manage? So we have a popular protocol called as SSH. Okay, you can do a remote login. Why we want to use SSH? Because it is a encrypted. Because whatever the communication, okay, like from an admin to the S5 or admin to the any of the server like S1, S4, S3, S6, whatever it is, the communication is secure, okay, is encrypted. So before SSH, we were using, okay, a protocol called as a TenLand. So we do uh, remote login okay using a talent but this particular session is not encrypted so in this case okay this session is encrypted okay if you are using a SSH so here I written okay in my uh, particular wording admin want to manage S5 so how is going to manage S5 securely so definitely he will use this command kind of you can see SSH and then username at the rate IP addresses so I will recommend not to use this command you can use the command call is this SSH minus capital X and space IP addresses this user at their IP addresses. So you can invoke the graphics. So I will show you the first difference between okay, these two commands. So let's jump into the practical part. So when you go to this machine, this is my cyber threatening machine. Let me log into this machine and show you the practical part. So uh, in my case, the IP address I'm using okay, this call is 0.129. Okay, and I'm going to do a remote login to this system. So let me also grab the IP address of this machine. So I have config and here you can see the IP address of this machine is 0 0.156, right? So I have to do a remote login from 129 machine. So let me go and jump into this. And here it is record the IP address which is 156, right? So let me go to the hidden thing and if you do like that SSH and username is a root at the red IP addresses like that 0 0.156. So you can see uh, are you sure you want to continue connecting and if you just type yes here and then you can see asking for the password and if you give the password also here. Let me enter the password. You can see successfully we remotely logged into this particular system okay and the IP address of the system is 56. You can confirm using this also IO config and here you can see here you go. But whenever you try to open okay like Firefox here you can see you will get a display error here. For example if you go and try okay like Zenmap you can see you will get a display error here if you just type okay Wireshark in this case. So you can easily check again here, you will get a display error, right? So how to okay, like avoid this kind of error, okay? And suppose, okay, like if you compromise this system and you want to open, okay, some graphics related application, so you are not unable to do if you don't know SSH properly. In such cases, what you can do is you can use this command. 
all is minus capital X. Okay, so this will okay invoke the graphics on the other side. For example, let's say SSH minus capital X root at the rate. The IP address of the system. For example, let's say one fifty six. When you press enter, and if you enter the correct password, you are able to log into the remote system. After the remote login, okay, you can simple now you can type Firefox, and you can see there will be no error in this case. So you are able to open the Firefox using okay like the option call is minus capital X. Not only Firefox, you can easily open a Zen Map, a Wireshark, a T Shark, any kind of application. So you can see here, okay, this is a remote Firefox open here. This is not my Firefox. This is a Firefox which we have invoked, okay, for the IP address one fifty six. So let me go to this uh, terminal. Now, second, I will show you. Okay, like for example, let's say if you want to open, okay, like any application, let's say Zen Map. This is okay, like graphic of Zen Map, and we'll open up, okay, like graphics of the Zen Map. You can easily check it here. This is called Zen Map, and now you can scan any IP address which you want to scan. Okay, for penetration testing. So, example, let's say if I am going to use OffenseeSniffing.com, and if you simple just type here is scan, and you're able to see the things here. Just click here, hit scan. Right, that's how you can scan using a Zen Map. So this is a graphical application which I invoked using a SSH. And not only these, you can use a Wireshark. Any kind of application you can use it. Okay, using SSH minus capital X and then IP addresses. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this video is informative for you.